Hello folks and welcome back to Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt. As always, of course, I am Falcon, your host. And we're here to turn in the tasks that uh, Olgryard gave us, Sir Von Emmerich, who we were tasked to assist uh, by Mastavir in exchange for him saving us. Uh, uh, excuse me while I just walk over your table. Go by me. Play. Overgrown wains, you see. Yeah. Have you any children, Geralt? Witchers can have children. Oh, yes. Forgot witches is sterile. Well, don't just stare at me. Tell me what brings you. I could play Gwent with you. Hmm. Let's do that before we do anything else. Hmm. You ever play Gwent? An immortal demands you fulfill three wishes, and you've the gall to propose a round of Gwent. Afraid to lose? No problem. I'll find someone else. Believe that's the worst wind-up I've ever heard. Lay out your cards. <laughs> oh, it worked. So. uh... Can't be the worst wind up if it works. Just saying. Why do I even bother to look? We have no reason to change our deck. Our deck has served us well for since time memoriam. Memorial, pretty much. Okay, we don't want this. That's not helpful. Oh my, we have no we have no thieves. Or thieves. Uh spies. Um Oh my, uh Uh, yeah, I did none of those. Damn it, that's not helpful at all. All the spies I have in this deck, and we didn't get a single one of them. Oh well. Well, I guess we'll play you, because you're useless to me. Probably gonna lose this round, actually. Why the hell would you play this first? I swear they one of the patches, they've, like, broken the Gwent AI or something, because that's, that's not the first time that's happened, and it's... Idiotic. Oh, <laughs> uh, whatever. Whatever. Um. I don't know what I'm gonna do because I really. I can't beat him. I can't, uh. Well, I guess that's all I'm trying to do, really, is make him play out a bunch of his cards. Hopefully he loses. He plays a bunch of these combo things and loses some of his cards from his main deck. Hopefully. That's really all we can realistically hope for. That was such a waste. Such a waste. Okay. Uh... Shit, what do I do now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to play any of my anything I have. I can play that. I need him to play out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play more of these. Play more of those. Yes! Oh, that took a bunch of stuff out of you. But damn. Oh, that's good. It's good. Really good. I wish I had two scorches because I could burn his entire uh, everything he's got if I had two of them. Crap. Well, I. We just pick one of these up. Force him to try and keep playing stuff. Hopefully he does. Oh, he's gonna pass. Alright. I can't really. Actually, I don't think I. I don't think I can. I don't think I could. Uh. Beat him, even if I played everything that I've got. Because. Why do you get to go first? It makes sense. Oh, well, you just burned another one of your cards for no reason, thanks. I'll blow all of those up. And what you gonna do now? Oh, you ain't gonna do shit. What I thought. Okay. Oh, pass. You only got two cards left, so you're pretty well screwed no matter what you do. And that's a completely useless. Thanks, game! 
Thanks for that. Thanks for giving me totally useless stuff. I have not seen you. What the hell are you? That's a new card. It has ranged Scorch. Interesting. First time we've seen that. I didn't know that was a thing. I was perfectly positioned to uh, wreck what I had. Fortunately, it doesn't help him any because he had no, no cards left. So we've beat you very, very easily. 74 with two, three cards. Three cards and my score of 74. Ridiculous. <laughs> Ridiculous. Shite. Not much I detest more than losing. Yeah, well, you saw. Well, my congratulations. This card's yours. Thanks. Yeah, okay, you gave me Toad. That's what I figured. Oh, that's a useful card. It's nice. I like it. Ah, so, uh, your brother says Mother hi. sends his love. You spoke to him. Impossible. Did more than that. Fulfilled your wish. And talked to him extensively. Curious what he had to say? You'd have to explain quite a bit about what he had to say to convince him that you talked to him, but... Fulfilled your wish. Your dead brother had himself one more day like those of old. Very easy to say. But have you got any proof? I do. Vladimir's hand. It's unmistakable. You've done well, Witcher. Need something else? Yeah, we completed your other tasks too. It's not the only one that we worked on. Alright. What do you have for me? It's strange. Max Persodi's house. As requested. Oh. Don't need both of them. The papers. Where are they? Left them in the vault. You wanted the house, you got the house. Never mentioned its contents. <laughs> You're a quick study. Already as tricky as Odim himself. Keen to ridicule a man. Hey. Do you know what I and the company do with your type? Probably get yourself killed. <laughs> Ask for legal advice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know. Ask for legal advice? Looks to me like you might need some. You signed the contract, old Geard. I'm just fulfilling its terms, to the letter. Unhappy? Hell, should have chosen your words more carefully. Yes, I should have. Indeed. I assume you came to an agreement with Horst. Shame. A right horse in that one. Horst. Made a Horst, deal with his brother. Uh... Who then beat the living shit out of Horst with a gold candle holder? <laughs> it's progress. So why did you need why those did you papers? Why did you need anyway? those papers? To sink the Borsodis, naturally. Oh. You see, I learned of an interesting clause in Old Man Maximilian's will. It what states is... that his sons must meet and shake hands in agreement at least once a year at Bellatay. Failing that. The auction house must be auctioned off. The proceeds to go to Bill Marius uh, Hospital. Guess the old man sensed what might happen. Aim to deliver those papers to the right hands. Borsodi would have landed in the streets. And the hospital would have gotten the funds it needs to treat orphans and beggars pro bono. Awfully noble of you, showing so much concern for the needy. I couldn't give a rat's ass about the needy. May they wither and disappear along with the city. I wanted one thing. Revenge. So what is your gripe with them? The Borsodis. What's your gripe? Get kicked out of an auction? Worse. They evicted me from my home. Are you really interested? Yeah, actually I kinda am. I wanna hear this. Wouldn't have asked if I wasn't. Ha! <laughs> Cheeky as ever. 
My family. They took on some debt. A poor investment in a sawmill. A bad crop one year. A lawsuit lost. You know how it is. When it rains, it pours. We needed but a few weeks to recover. But Horst Borsodi had acquired our debt. All of it. Demanded it be repaid immediately. I pleaded. I begged. I tore open my shirt at his threshold. Ugh. It was like talking to a wall. I went to the auction. Saw those perfumed pricks by my father's sword. My mother's death mask. My brother's horse tack. Ah, Horst earned a pretty pile selling our mementos. No surprise the animosity you feel for him. That was but the start. My Iris's parents learned of my family's misfortune. And our betrothal was no more. Oh. They found her another suitor. One from beyond the sea. The anger I felt. I thought I'd gone mad. Went to the tavern. Drank around. A second. I brawled. Then had another tankard. And then... Then, I asked the wrong bloke for help. Oh, you talked to Master Mirror. What happened after what that? What happened then? Ah, uh, what happened then, Witcher, was one big stinking pile of shite. Well, the Bosodis are still alive and still in control of their stuff. Well, they were, still well, alive anyway. Why do you stand there? Do you need something still? You have to give me your third task. Oh! Third task. Third wish. Time you stated it. A moment, Geralt. I will say to something. Then we'll chat. You there. Yank the herring out the barrel. <laughs> this is gonna be some poor bastard in here. Come on, none of this dallying. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Who is this and why did you have him in a barrel for... They said his appearance a hell of a long time. Now, ready to listen? Or do you still not give two shites about what I've got to say? I'm ready. I'm listening. Good. You'll return to your lord and tell him as follows. His demand was brazen. Hurt me to the core. For I was brought up to respect the sacred law of hospitality. And I shall not bend to an uncouth boar's dictum. Understood. I will pay him a visit shortly to test his willingness to adapt. So you ride off and announce me. And don't spare your horse. Got it? Aye, got it. Give this man a mount and leave him go. Come with you. We must talk outside. So who is that and what? The Afiri believe one should only discuss important matters out of doors with the gods as witnesses. Okay. So why was that dude in the barrel? Barrel? What was that about? On the way here, we stopped for nourishment at a tavern belonging to one Lord Dauntless. We enjoyed ourselves as one does at an inn. Raucously. Our antics were not to the liking of this dauntless. Sent a man to warn us that if we were ever to return, we would hang. You burned the inn down? I left ample compensation with the innkeep. But it seems the rapscallion neglected to mention this to his lord. But that's a little import. What matters is someone called me a horse and threatened to kill me. Hmm? It was one of those threats that sound like an invitation. I intend to accept it. Return to those parts. Fair enough, actually. Yeah, you may get what's coming to you, but I'm not entirely convinced you're as bad as you try to make yourself seem. Fulfilled two of your wishes. Time I learned the third. Confident, aren't you? Proud, sure of your strengths. Fearless. Third task, if you don't mind. 
Mutations. They stripped you of emotion. Tell me, have you ever loved? I mean, truly loved? Oh, yeah. Oh, he has. There was Yennefer. And Trish. He's loved both of them, actually. Possibly at different times, and to different degrees, but certainly both of them. You don't give a shit. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, I've loved. Can we get to the matter at hand? Perhaps instead we ought to sit down inside. Have a good chat over some fiery water. Why? Yeah, maybe once it's over. We'll drink once the job's done. Afraid that's impossible. Succeed, and that's the end of me. Fail, and you'll not be back. Third wish. Still waiting to hear it. Why? Aren't you stubborn? Fine. Listen well. I had a wife once. The day I saw her last, I gave her a rose. A violet one. Bring me that blue. Wouldn't mind reminding myself what it looks like. <sighs> when was that? How long's it been? Flowers wilted and turned to dust by now. You wished to hear a wish. Now you have. Fulfill it. I ride now to visit this dormus, but one of my men will remain here. He'll know how to find me. That is, of course, should you succeed. At least you could tell me where your wife is. In my old manor, east of Martin Foy's farmstead. I'd wish you God's speed, but, well, you understand, I'm sure. Goodbye, Geralt. Okay, well, at least he gave us that a bit, bit of information. Uh, fast travel point. that one I guess. Come on, send it on the thing. Where are we heading? Where was this at? I think I've been here. Uh no. I think right past it, but I haven't actually been to it. Apparently. I haven't actually been to it. That's fine. We'll get there easy enough. Uh we can travel there and then just ride over. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. Why is this not can I destroy this? Oh, uh, I didn't destroy this because this was the spiders of being really annoying that I just decided to say screw it and stop messing with them. Um, in particular, I need here for the moment. Uh, once I have more money, I do want to. Although I don't know if I'm ever going to get sufficient money to really be able to, but I wanted, I would like to have a full set of all of the armors. Uh, all the way up to Master Crafted, but unfortunately... It seems like it's probably fairly unlikely I'm actually going to manage to get there, because... We had to burn so much money to upgrade that one merchant guy... That I'm not at all convinced... I will uh, manage to acquire sufficient money before we finish the game... Uh, to get there. If I did absolutely everything there was to do, if I explored all of these locations, uh, which I might do off camera maybe, and went and did all the stuff that we have yet to do in... Let's go, spade, play, play, uh, let's go pay those spiders another visit just because I haven't been to that thing and I want to clear it. I've revealed it. Alright buddies. You drove me off last time because I, uh, I had a mess with you, but I uh, hate to tell you, but this time it's going to be a mite different. Yeah, you're the big bastard. You're the one that I don't, don't like. Show me what you got. You can probably get away now, bitch. Ah. Ooh, now you do some damage. Yeah. Ah, suck. 
you were the big you were the big one, so you were the one that was the biggest problem. Of the lot of them. That's what killed most of the smaller ones, actually. Now that I'm looking at it. But. Monster nest. Best destroyed with a dancing star or grape shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I can't run on the web. That's good. Good. Pretty cool, I like it. I'm not even gonna bother to kill you, to be honest. You're not worth my time. My whole objective was just to complete the, uh, the location thing there. Really get a few craps about the spiders themselves. Come on, horse. You can run. I have told you to run, you need to do it. Okay, so we need to run over here, talk to his old wife. What did she say, did he say his name? Her name was? Uh. Lily, maybe? I don't fucking know. I don't remember. I know he said. He said, uh, while we were talking about. Oh. That was. That was a. Mighty rusty, but rusty. covered in creepers. Need another way in. Well, there's clearly no way that this is, uh, still inhabited. She must be dead. I wonder if the place is cursed by Mastamir. I wouldn't be that surprised. Hey! Yeah, mate! Ooh. Kendrick! Kendrick! You there? Not so dude. loud. Ah! God, scared me off to- Not so loud, I said. Fog's not natural. Could be something in there hiding. Foglets or air nymphs, for example. Don't want to attract them. Believe me. Oh, an air nymph. F Foglets. Oh, sweet mother, my little. Why did I ever come here? Because you're an idiot. Who? What are you doing here? Good question. What are you doing here? See, Kendrick and me, we thought. Man has been empty all these years, full of fine things going to rot. Mm -hmm. And Kendrick so you're a thief. In. Thief steal from the living. What's the arm taking from the dead? Kendrick went to open a door. I stood watch. Suddenly heard his lamp smash. Then nothing. Quiet. Called out to him, but. Well, he's probably dead. The sick. What is that? What was that? One of them foglets you spoke of? No, something no. worse. Phew. That's a stone off my... I'll see what that was and look for your partner. You... I ain't about to wait around. I'm out of here. Sounds like a good idea. Pretty sprawling, this estate. How am I gonna find that rose in this fog? Fresh manure. Why is there fresh manure in bags? Water's ice cold. Mountain stream cold. Curious. Rather worn. Used often. Wonder by who. Why is there a black dog that I can apparently talk to? A grave? Here? What are you doing in a place like this? You are not Best shoot horrible. before you get hurt. What is with that dog's eyes? Dog, stop moving. Stop moving. Stop moving, you piece of crap. Can't see you in there. There is though. Look at his eyes. They're like... Number one, they're huge. Number two, they're like... Really, really silver. It's kind of freaky. Okay, anything in this direction? Over here. I still Somebody's maybe. still taking care of the place. Oh, they're doing a really bad job of it if they are. <laughs> oh. Oh, can't open this. Fuck. Oh. Alrighty then. I'd scooch along, kitty. This place. What's that? That digging? 
footprints from cleated boots leading from the back of the garden. Hmm. Hmm. Let's uh, go this way. Let's see what we see. Someone dragged a wounded man through here. Wounded man, you say? It's locked. That's uh, kind of river. Okay, so the wounded man was probably the dude. That I'm sure. Someone's still tending to the flower beds. No violet rose, though. They up here. What's this? Woods rotted completely. Well, it has clearly not been used in a while. Nice uh, little slit sitting area, though. Nice little sitting area. Take it. Hi. Right. What the hell's all this? Beehives. Well maintained, but dormant. Why are they being maintained at all if they're dormant? way into the basement, but clearly we can't go down there. Okay, well let's explore... There's a... Oh, okay. Yeah, the bushes there, I didn't see that the wall continued, so I was like, what? why am I, I running into here? We go this way. Ew. Rope looks new. Gardner's hut has been repaired. Could it be? are so organized it's scary if you say so well they look that organized to me but okay so I guess we just have to go out to the back then because it doesn't seem to be anything else and he was digging back there so maybe he's digging to bury the other dude uh, what the hell the guy's name was this a lockpick must have been the other thieves. Possibly. Okay, so this is further away than I expected. That dragging the body. Still open. Nope. Not surprised about that one. I kind of expected it to be locked. Probably also locked. Yup. Okay, let's see what we got over here. Whole lot of nothing. Okay, so we just go to the whatever this is out back here then and see what we see, I suppose. Yeah, there's either a person, a really strange person, or Unmarked, laid out in rows like garden beds. Uh, uh. Hey, hear me? I'm not at all sure you want it to hear you, whatever it is. And, uh, it's the steel sword? Yeah, it's a steel Another sword. thief. Bodies mutilated. Lately. Who are you? Uh oh. You got its attention. Oh. Uh, hey then. The fuck? Damn. The fuck? I feel like this is a Dark Souls battle, a uh, Dark Souls battle almost. And now we punish. Again, Dark Souls. This is very much like a Dark Souls fight. And now we go out of the way, and we punish. Nope, didn't quite get out of there. Yeah, also a Dark Souls battle. 
so literally I don't see this fight. This could be more than souls if they tried. on that one. Come on, let me move again, please. Oh, my timer is going off. It's not a good time for it. Alright. Oh, it's a punish. Woo. Come on. Come on. Come on. Not that attack. I can't punish that one that effectively. I mean, I get a little bit, but not enough to really do a hell of a lot. Do I have the poison on? Don't. I don't even know if it'll do anything against this guy, but we are using our silver... Wait, which sword are we using? Alright, what, what sword do I, do I have out here? Oh, that's the silver sword. Okay. I don't know what this guy thing is then. Um... Revenant? Maybe? First one... No, not a necrophage. Ogre? No. Uh, I don't know what this thing is. Because it doesn't, uh... Nope. Okay, I don't know what this thing is, so I was gonna say I'll put up... I'm just gonna, Changed his attacks a little bit. I could have, I could have uh, had I been more prepared for that, I could have punished for it, but I was insufficiently prepared for it. Not terribly difficult, not gonna lie. Pretty easy. Probably too easy, really, to avoid, to be honest. CD Project, I, I like the idea, but you made it a little too easy to avoid his attacks. First time he's actually hit me with one of his normal attacks. He still failed to do anything because I have my shield up, but. Too much off of that. Why am I bothering? I think I can block any of these attacks. I think I even care to try, to be honest. Pretty good if I uh, get overzealous. Clearly. Ow. On. Gotcha, bitch. Those are the ones I still try to attack for. But... Dead, Jim. Of the die already. What the 
the fuck was that? It's <laughs> a good question. Damn no question. eyes or nostrils, deformed organs. Damn thing had no right to be alive. This cat has something to do with all this. As did that, as did that dog. There's no cat. Well, philosophers do still debate what it means to be alive. Like exactly. I said. Normally I'd be shocked, but not after what I just saw. Who are you two? Clearly not animals. Think of us as friends of the house. Aha. Uh -huh. What was that? What about this thing? What can you tell me? Friend of yours? We called him the caretaker. Oh shit. Doesn't look like any creature I've ever seen. Where'd it come from? From very far away. He was summoned to guard Lady Iris in the home. Iris. He tended the garden, took care of unwanted guests. Very far away. Meaning where exactly? Probably another dimension. The name of this place would mean naught to you. You sound like Master Mir. The male do dog does. You are really weird. What's with the show? The pretense that you're animals. You couldn't have warned me? No. We're obliged to maintain discretion. So why talk to me at all? Why? Well, we get so few chances to talk to humans, and we're curious to know what brought you. Gonna need a better answer than that. Later. Fair enough. I'm looking for Violet Rose. You know the master of the house, the owner? Olgierd von Everick. Yes, we know him, but he left. And his wife became mistress of the house. Great. So, Lady Von Everick home? Could you announce me, say she has a guest? Why do you wish to see her? I'm here to get the violet rose Old Geard gave Iris just before he left. Iris is inside, in the bedchamber upstairs. Take his key. It opens the rear door. Guess I'll make my own introductions. So, how should I address you? As you did now. We'd rather keep our names to ourselves. Where is your one? Let's look around real quick, see if we're missing anything interesting, like this chest. Oh. Uh, nothing too terribly exciting, but nevertheless. Or actually than I was expecting, to be honest. Oh. Guess thieves tried to lower the statue with ropes, but something scared them off. Uh, probably didn't scare them anywhere. Probably murdered them brutally. But... Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Don't know this deity. Strange. Old Gear doesn't seem the pious type. How I have a feeling has nothing to do with the deity. Maybe. I'll no doubt it. Back here? No? Alright, that was a pretty cool fu pretty cool boss. Won't lie. It was, it was pretty good. I think there was a couple things that they could have done a little differently. Um, I think that its main attacks were too easy to avoid. Uh, you know, its basic attacks. Special attacks weren't bad. So those were fine, but the uh, its normal attacks were too easy. A hairbrush. Floral ornamentation. Pretty. Might be useful. Maybe she will, like, want that for an exchange for something. And that just looks like decorative area behind the house doesn't look like there's much, if anything at all, over there. That place has fallen down, whatever it was. Okay, well let's go ahead and run inside. Did I loot the buyer guy? Okay, apparently he did that himself. Alright, um... We'll go ahead and end the episode here, folks. I will see you next time. Take it easy. Have a good day. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.